Okay, so <clears throat> I recorded some uh, things with my trail camera. I put a little pumpkin out there, did a little time lapse. So I wanted to put them all together. So I searched and found this program, which I thought was kind of neat. Um, time lapse tool. Yeah, I had these little see. I didn't really like the editing system that it had and all that, but I dealt with it and figure, okay, this will put it together for me. But then when I went to export, I tried to use 1080p, and it says, oh, you need a license for this. So I said, okay, let's check it out. I already spent the time putting it up. Oh, 70 bucks. Yep, not worth it. Uh, thought maybe 10, 20 bucks it would have been worth it, but uh, not worth it. So I normally use Shotcut for editing already. So I said, hey, you know what? There's got to be a way to do it in Shotcut. And there is, so... If you take uh, pictures have to be in sequence you know like 17 18 19 20 some sort of sequence and if they're not you can uh, batch rename them okay so select the last one and then the first one you can right click and rename and then just type like hunt enter and then you'll see it'll rename them in sequence there but mine are already numbered, so we'll undo that. And then just drag the first one over here into, um, if you're not familiar with Shotcut, I don't remember exactly how it's set up by default, but uh, you basically need to get your playlist. Um, I do take these down, the toolbar's usually here. So if you just load up your playlist, wherever it is, find it. And then drag the first one of the sequence into there. Select it, properties, image sequence, let this load all up. Once it finishes, then you can hit play. You'll see that it's playing the images in sequence. And then you can just drag this down into your timeline here. And then you'll have the whole thing to be able to edit it some more if you want. So you can muck around with this frames per picture, but really what I like to do is just keep it at one frame per picture. Put them all together because you can see that uh, so you can see that the last picture here is like 12, 28, 11, 30. So is that about one of these end here? Yeah, 1228. Yeah. So you can see I actually have a bunch of folders here. And since they're named very similarly, I don't really want to go through the whole process of renaming each one. So I'm just going to go here and drag the first one into here and then repeat the same process of go in and image sequence let it load all the images and then I'll just drag it down here and I'll just keep doing that over and over at that same frame rate and since this is kind of a long this is going to end up being a long video that I'm just going to keep doing that and then I'll just export it as a video so I'll just export it out <clears throat> you'll see the progress of the export over here and then once it's exported because I can't really edit as well here because it's it's more annoying for me to change the speed because I, I can't slow it too much one frame per picture is the the best I can do or I can't speed it up I guess I should say so I find it easier to edit if I just go and make a video out of it and then I'll edit that video that it outputs there
Okay, so now that it's uh, finished rendering that one there, I'll just go file no. You can save your project if you want. I don't. And then we can just go back to playlist again. Go find where our uh, video is. The video that we just did, test, drag it over there into the playlist. And there we go. There it is as a video. So now, like I said, I find it easier to do it this way where I can then just drag this onto my timeline. And then from here I can you know from here I can split it up if I want and then I could like, speed this last section up over here by selecting it and going to properties and changing the speed so I can slow it down if I go to like 0.5 that'll slow it down but I can select it again go to properties I can slow it down even more Maybe 0.1 or if I wanted I could speed it up eight times Super fast. So you can do it either way. You know, you can edit it and then do it this way. There's benefits either way. Or, you know, say you recorded them at the speed you wanted them anyway, then one frame per picture would be just fine. Now, I mean, this is a bad example, actually. Let me see. There's where my neighbor was building this garage here. We put the first sequence in there. Properties. Image sequence. So here's one frame per second with that. Which, let's see, what did I do? I did one per minute, so that would be. So the one one frame per picture is kind of nice. A little slow there. So what if we bump it up to five frames per picture? I'll let it rewrite here. If you want to go slower, that's fine. You can use this system. But if you want to go faster, then you're going to have to load it and then out export it as a video to speed it up so i mean that's a pretty good speed if you're doing one picture a minute but anyway hope that helps